Every day is a, a gift, I would say. And, um, you know, we got to treat it as such, despite what happens, what goes on on this earth or in this world. This world is meant for us. It was made for us. So if, uh, you know, if somebody honking their horn or they cutting you off in the car that day or they ain't seeing it your way, that ain't, that ain't meant to understand. What it's meant to understand is that this world is made for us. So let's enjoy this place and uh, just let the games begin, shit. <laughs> I price my work by, it all depends on um, the significance that it has and what it, what it means to me and, and um, you know how powerful the piece is and it, you know, depending on you know how much time it went into it, depends on the piece. You know, each piece has its own own story. So it's really you know it all depends. How you doing? My name's Travis Love, and we're here at my Peter Street Castleberry Hill mural. I would say one of one of my more um, popular popular pieces in Atlanta. It's uh, in a historic uh, art district of Atlanta in Castleberry Hill. It's right on the strip. And uh, come down, there's been a lot of art coming to the neighborhood, a lot more projects, so definitely a good place to stop by and visit if you're ever in here, if you ever come to Atlanta. Um, you know, I was working, I was, I was at the job, and um, everybody got let go, and so apparently I was one of the people that, that got let go that was expendable, you know, after they had uh, taken all the computers and everything in the company, so. Um, after after that had happened, I got my last check, and uh, I just took that check. I made a decision. I said, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to invest in myself. And then after that, I, uh, I just never looked back. And then, you know, I feel like I found my purpose and uh, at that moment. So, you know, just, it's really just about, like, really seeing in the dark, like, having faith. So that's just how this is my take on that. Here we are. Edgewood. One of my 2018 murals. It's my work. Here we are at, uh, on Edgewood, the God is Dope location, flagship store. And uh, flagship location. Motivations, I would say, are like not just artists, just people that live their life to the fullest and like you know don't don't really care what what the masses think and kind of just like just live life creatively. And uh, I would say uh, um, motivations. Shit, I don't even I don't know. I just think about the stuff that goes on in the world and it's just like that's really what motivates me. And uh, you know, a few artists from Atlanta, like just a, a select few artists and people that um, continue to believe in me, I would say. And so those are, that's the things that motivate me. It's just stuff I see every day. Like as I, when I leave my house and, and just like how the world is, just kind of motivates me to really do art and stuff. Uh, as far as like artists in general, all, I mean, I would say all artists, uh, you know, encourage me as well too in, in a way just because they're expressing themselves so here we are at uh my underground installation and it showcases uh my pattern about togetherness and unity split up into each individual being this is some of the first renovations they're doing to the new historic underground district Well, the um, the character that I that I do is called Brody the Brainiac, and uh, this is an old character that I drew when uh, I was in school, like like my uh, freshman year of college. And I used to just make up all kinds of different characters, and uh, that was one of them. And then so when I started doing the Brain Food Clothing brand, I, uh, I I saw like when I decided to really like take something seriously something about that character just stood out to me and so I decided to use him as you know a trademark of mine 
and um, and using to speak to the viewer. And basically, he represents the everyday uh, person that goes through things. And so I put him in different situations to basically speak a certain message to inspire hope and uh, just inspire people to whatever you know that could be. We're here we at KWYS. This is one of, uh, after 2016, after I released The Style, um, this is one of the first boutiques that I worked with in Atlanta, and it's uh, in Castleberry. And uh, this is one of the pieces, Mars, you know, infused with the pattern, togetherness and unity pattern. And, uh, you know, here they showcase different pieces of my work, as you can see. So you can look around, you know, we got a uh, happy, and this piece right here is just like, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a feel good piece. And then a lot of people say it's intestines or whatever, you know, guts, and brains, but it's up for your interpretation. Kind of resembles Brody the Brainiac. So like I'm currently working on a, um, an exhibition and uh, it's about basically like social issues that's going on right now. And uh, which is one of them is, you know, the, uh, kids that are being tearing apart from their families at the border and uh, minorities in this family just not getting fair treatment. And uh, I'm working on pieces that really just reflect that. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be a really uh, inspiring uh, body of work. And hopefully I can get all the work together and get it, get it just right. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> um, um, a lot of the opportunities that come to me are just through. It's it's weird. It's it's interesting. Like it's uh, through networking and people that I know, and uh, just consistency, and doing art over the time, and also uh, mixed with reoccurring customers from the past, and just like on a whim, like as I'm out and about and. It just kind of depends on my attitude, you know, on that day. And sometimes you never know who you might meet, who you might bump into, and that's that's true. This piece right here is kind of more my natural, uh, you know, street art installation. I wanted to do something that kind of looked at, uh, like it may have happened organically, but also kind of with my with my style. So I uh, kind of incorporated my design in um, in a tree. And uh, it's interesting because it seems to change. Every time I see it, it looks like, I don't know if somebody else has, has put art around it or, or, or what, but it's definitely different. And uh, you know, I'm enjoying watching it age. Um, by doing different events and uh, trying to stay up to date, current, and uh, just active and within the community or wherever it is I'm at. And also try to like get out and do different stuff, like different things that I wouldn't normally do to challenge myself as an artist? Well, it's a few things out that's pretty cool. Just just like this whole, you know, illustration stuff. And I like how, you know, everybody's come, you know, just characters and all that stuff. And it's always cool art coming out, but I don't, it's no real trends necessarily. I kind of just stay in my own world, you know, I stay in my own zone, so I don't, I kind of tune out. Kind of more that type. But there was this time, you know, where I was, uh, you know, it's been, it's been times, you know, some late nights, uh, stuff like that. I had people, um, it's just moments where, like, I have uh, people, and, they, and my buddy was like, I was in an Uber, and then the Uber driver knew who you were. Or, um, you know, I'd be out and about, and people may have on my, my work or you know um, people call me and, and then my phone rings and then it's just or I meet I see people and then they just like are always like super ecstatic and just like you know wow like you the stuff you've been doing is just like really awesome and uh, so stuff like that is is always inspiring I would say here we are at peaceful clouds on Edgewood and uh, I did this work in, a, in a 2015, and it was a commission work. 
and uh, you know they wanted something to resemble the city, but because they were from Florida, they wanted some water, and then you know a little mix of Atlanta. So I put the, the train, and then I put uh, it going over a bridge with water and uh, peaceful clouds, where you can get all your smoke shop needs right here on Edgewood in Atlanta. Definitely things that I would say to uh, keep in mind, you know, up and coming artists is to definitely. Um, have a purpose within what you do, you know, what you create, even if it's the purpose is not to have a purpose, you know. Uh, but just, you know, always, always keep stay stay abreast of where you where you're going, um, where you, where your balance, your center is. I would say, uh, you know, don't get too caught up in what's going on. It's just don't don't get too distracted. You know, work your uh, just stay, stay, stay busy, stay consistent, and uh, stay positive, you know, stay uh, optimistic. You know, think about the end result. Don't think about what you, you know, know it's all a process.